Hello Aquarius, welcome to your July spy spread by yours truly, Scorpio Spy. And we're going to get into your little investigation here today, starting with your oracle cards, okay? Then we move into the tarot for a two-person spread, you and someone in your environment. It doesn't have to be love, it could be your neighbor, for all we know, okay? But we'll see what comes up here. Please don't force anything to resonate. That being said, okay, it may or may not resonate. And I hope it does, but if it doesn't, check previous and future readings, okay? Thank you very much. All right, so the first cards I drew for you, Aquarius. We have stillness and the future coming up here, all right? I feel like you're waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for a brand new phase. I do feel like there's a big shift coming in for you. And the future is going to look bright. I feel like you may be doubting that for some reason or you're just starting to believe something better is going to be happening here um regardless there's some sort of shift and it's bringing in fresh energy okay you know what else we got <laughs> we have this future card right we also have this past card i feel like you drew this in one of your previous reads like a recent one so this is actually subtitled bitterness grudge and refusal to let go your future can't come in with this stagnant energy here that's pretty much what i'm getting for you okay and this means that it is time for like a space clearing if you need to do that energetically or if you need to physically move or you need to get some old junk out you know that stuff in your closet <laughs> that kind of thing um it's just a time to clear your energy, clear your mind, clear your head, clear your heart, whatever. Clear some stuff, all right? Because we're making way for some new, brand new, fresh stuff coming in here. It's like opening a window. Maybe you just need to do that. So I also pulled this uh, ring card, and this is about a commitment. We also have the scythe. So I feel like this might have to do with you guys moving on from something that has ended or it is yep anyway something that you were counting on or someone else was counting on something that was there for quite some time is going through a major shift there's just a change going on here but it feels kind of uncomfortable in a sense or just maybe painful okay to let go of some past energy there's just some past stuff that's clearing out okay now we have release your power exactly major release major shift and i'm telling you this because we have eclipse mermaid a powerful energy shift so this is definitely um quite a different energy i'm getting kind of like a tower as well guys but it feels like it feels like you have so much stagnant stuff here that you are going to welcome this new fresh air okay also i've been seeing the numbers 333 and you do have 33 here so keep a look out for that what deck are we using for my loves okay let's use this one for aquarius we're going to pull for you on the left here see what's coming up for you for partner A, I'm calling you partner A, okay? Let's make it simple. Partner B on the right can be anybody in your environment. Let's see. Partner A for Aquarius. What's going on for my loves? I heard honey, by the way. Honey? That's kind of like a, aw, honey. Hmm. There you go. We got the uh, stress card. Aquarius. Oh no. This is that um, angst, you know, the worry, the concerns, the guilt, the sleepless nights, whatever. That's your first card out. And I feel like this energy is not comfortable. I'm telling you, there's a shift that's coming in. It's just not comfortable. It's one of those things, okay? This could have to do with holding on to a commitment or somebody's trying to hold on to this commitment because it's been there for quite some time. Maybe there's a household involved, um, a company, if this is your finances, whatever. Okay, there's a household, there's a marriage, there's a family, there's kids. I don't know, this kind of thing, all right? Anyway, 
you're in this stressed energy here. Something keeps repeating in your head. Okay, I see. You're worried about a move that you're making, whether you're actually making a move, but I feel like you're trying to heal a situation or just have some sort of peace and it's just so slow coming. You're like, what in the world? Absolutely. Lots of uh, stressful stuff coming in here, guys. The weight of other people that you care about in your environment is on your shoulders. That's what this is. I don't feel like you like this. No wonder. Okay, okay. This is temporary, guys. Keep that in mind. Everything is temporary. Move to partner B. Let's see what's going on here. Because with the Six of Swords, this is definitely a major move that you're making. Maybe you're moving house. Moving to another um, place. Could be over the water somewhere. Or just somewhere that you're not, I don't know, keen on moving somehow. Maybe it's a lot of stress. Maybe it's a lot of stuff to move out. Like I said, throw out that stuff in your closet, whatever. It just feels like... You're concerned about your next moves. And yeah, it can be a physical move. When you get the Six of Swords though, that means that there is better energy coming in that is moving to a better place. So keep that in mind. Your burdens will be alleviated. I feel like you kind of just want this process to be over. That's what it is. Okay, partner B. The Seven of Cups, why? So someone's state of mind really bothers you. Hmm. I feel like someone's like, I don't know if they like say weird stuff that doesn't make sense. Some of you don't trust this person's judgment or it's almost like, um, do you think that they're not stable? Or maybe you're concerned that they're like, they smoke too much or something like that, guys. Okay, you have someone here who cares about you. We got Venus Scorpio. We got some water sign energy, could be a Cancer. We got a Sagittarius, okay? Also um, Earth sign energy on the bottom. But this is someone who cares about you and they want to help. Keep in mind, this may be a reversed reading, because I know a lot of you will probably say that. I'm just saying. Um, someone here wants to help you guys. They say, hey, um, let's heal this. Let's talk about this. I can be understanding. I'm going to try to be understanding of your situation, this kind of thing. Oh, you got an Ace of Cups here. So you definitely have communication with this person and it is going to get things off to a better energy for you, Aquarius. This is someone who does. Is this the person who says, oh, honey? This is a guardian angel as well. Oh, honey. Hmm. This is someone who's like, I understand, you know, Okay. Back to Aquarius, please. Whoa, Aquarius. There you go. That is your energy right there. That's my Aquarian card. King of Swords. All right. Look at you. Here we go. Now it's shifting. That's kind of what I thought. Here you go. So you didn't think something was going to pull through here. Those problems of the past, they are going to alleviate. You are making those moves. I do see some sort of travel or a move. Like I just keep seeing it, okay? This is a good change or a shift for you that's coming in. You are going to feel happy and satisfied or your children are if you have children, whatever. You're happy here. Your past is settled. Your communication here is restored with this person or someone in your environment that cares about you. This could be a friend for some of you, okay? I feel like you're kind of releasing all that stress and your woes and this person is just kind of like, hey, I'm here for you, you know? You're back to yourself pretty quickly, Aquarius. <laughs> like, snap. Like, a snap of the fingers. Just like that, okay? And I do see you talking about what's happened here in your past, okay? Then there's communication and swift changes that you're going to be getting what you want here. All right, now show me partner B. How are you relating to this? 
feel like you don't trust someone in your environment, like their judgment, guys. There's someone in your environment that is bothering you. Like you don't think they can think straight or they think right or I almost want to say like you think there, there's some sort of like a emotional problem. I don't know. And that they, it bothers you? You worry about them? Okay. Anyway, I'm getting like two energies showing up here on um, partner B side. Mm, who had this? Did Virgo have that card or was it Libra? In the same spot, it was one of those. Anyway, so you have someone here with some Libra or yeah, there's Libra energy, but there's also Aquarius energy here and Virgo energy. Someone's like, hey, let's fix what's broken. This is someone who is seeking to help. This is definitely a helper. I'm telling you, you have someone here. There's like a guardian. I don't know what this is, guys. Like a guardian or some Gemini energy here as well. Someone here wants to help to heal this situation. I also see there could be a doctor involved. Like a like a doctor, guys. Heal like some there's some sort of healing. Show me this. Um I'm gonna clarify this really quick. Yep, that's you. And that's also a card of healing, I'm telling you. That's your Aquarius card here. Someone here is deciding to fix something with you or they're trying to look for a way to fix something with you or to heal you in a way. Does that make sense, guys? Like, you don't have to do this alone kind of thing. Hmm. Also, if someone left, there's like some sort of energy of this person wanting to come back in. Okay. Yeah, but I feel like, I mean, you could have been the one that left and I feel like you... Someone regrets that, number one. But I feel like you don't know if you want to let this person back in. Yeah. Well, let's see what we have. We're going to pull for like some kind of outcome here. And then we'll see who you're dealing with on the bottom of the deck. What is the outcome here between partner A and partner B? Are you guys like moving back to a place that you're familiar with or what is this? Something of that sort, something that you, it's definitely going to heal your heart here. Yeah, the five swords energy is just uh, not cool. This is a lose-lose situation. Um, this is all about trying to change that around because someone here has been left out. Okay. I feel like, yeah, it just, it just feels like someone was not acting in their best interest here. Um, not only their best interest, but for the interest of the relationship. And there's a change about that. Okay. Definitely do have someone, I'm telling you, if someone here to help you guys, help you through, um, try to navigate this tough time. I'm telling you also for a side note, now don't make it fit if it's not, but there is someone here who is seeing like a shrink or like a head doctor even, okay? If it's not like a physical doctor, this is someone who's helping with someone's like mental state or like a therapist, this kind of thing is what I'm seeing, okay? Yeah, maybe to help um, understand your connection with somebody or just themselves, period. Whoever's in your environment is stressing you out, it's going through this. Yep. What else is here? Anything else here? So there is some sort of offer and it's being... On hold. It's like on hold. It's put on hold. 
because of either someone's emotional mental state or indecision. And if it's indecision, it's because people are too confused and just not knowing how to make things work here. Because there is a commitment here. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So it's coming in anyway. There's an offer here. A new offer. You're going to be talking about this. Some of you have this um, regarding you and a Pisces. Others of you, this could be an earth sign. Maybe a Scorpio or someone from your past. Yeah. Anyway, there's a new offer here. You're going to receive communication about this. Yeah, this is something that's going to make you pretty happy or someone's going to be happy. Although, see, someone doesn't know if they should act on it yet or meet up yet. This kind of thing for some reason. There's someone here, just not sure. And that could be because there's other things going on there. Yep, I'm telling you. All right, let's see who Aquarius is dealing with, could be dealing with. This could be anybody in your environment. I'm choosing a different deck. That didn't feel right. Okay, this can be anybody in your environment, Aquarius. You may have a friendship with these people. They may be your neighbor Tom down the street. Okay. Ho hopefully not peeping Tom. This could be <laughs> a family member, a friend, a lover. You get it, okay? It's not going to be every sign. It's going to be whatever signs show up. And check previous and future reads, like always. Okay, let's see what we got. Guess what? Victory is coming in. Don't stress. Don't fret too much. Okay, this is a shift and a period of time. Huge shift coming in. You're going to be happier. Okay, happier. And this is going to be released. Don't worry about it, please. Not too long, at least. Yeah, see, I'm telling you. You're going to be celebrating soon enough. You're receiving good news, good communication. Um, you got that house you wanted. You got that um, job you wanted. Whatever this is, you got that relationship you wanted. Your friends helped you do this. Whatever that is, okay? You're going to be happy. Don't you worry. Don't you fret. Okay. If you are dealing with, here it comes. If you're dealing with a Taurus, uh, I feel like someone here has a commitment on the mind. There's something about a household or a union that this person wants to talk about. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this is someone who has a lot of money and they act like they don't. Okay. Or they're just kind of shut off from you. What? Okay. Weird. Um, <laughs> whatever. Uh, no judgment. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, someone is really possessive here. And they have some dirty little secrets. Okay, if you are dealing with a Capricorn, ooh, Capricorn. Capricorn has uh, passion and love. Wow, for you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, what in the world is going on with this person? Okay, I got the word afflicted for some reason. Someone is afflicted? What? Are they like quarantined or something? Anyway, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this is someone who, I guess, wants to stay single? Or maybe they like to work a lot, but they maybe they tell you that and they actually don't. <laughs> they just like like to hang out more. I don't know. It's really weird. Okay. It's something weird with that Scorpio. Just saying. Yeah. Something about their independence. Anyway. Mm, yeah. Scorpio here on a break. They are kind of resting, healing. What? Yeah. Maybe they are sick or had some stuff going on. All right. We get it. Okay, if you are dealing with a Pisces, Pisces here is like afraid of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't mean to laugh. Pisces, Pisces is afraid of you, Aquarius. Okay. They're afraid of you, like, I don't know why, right? They just are. <laughs> God. 
Okay, if you're dealing with another Aquarius, um, if you're dealing with another Aquarius, this is someone, I don't know, maybe they have like a, a family thing going on, or maybe this is someone from your family or someone from work. Um, yeah, this, this is someone who is really quiet, but they know more than they let on, okay? Now, if this is just you, Aquarius, you don't know any other Aquarius, you look like you're going to be pretty happy and content here. I'm telling you, I keep seeing it. Just let it, the tide pass here. The tide is a rolling. If you're dealing with a Vir not a Virgo. Huh? Someone could have a Virgo placement. There's Virgo energy right there. Twice. Anyway, if you're dealing with a Gemini. This is Gemini. Okay. There's a home situation, a family situation, um, maybe a work situation. Things are working out really well. Someone here is deciding to... They have a bright idea and they know how to put in work or make more money or upgrade the home or yeah so kind of upgrade there's an upgrade between you and a gemini cool nice okay maybe one or two more we'll see dealing with a sagittarius wow sagittarius here picking a fight or oh, there's going to be some words exchange between you and a sagittarius what is going on in this Oh my gosh okay yeah there may it may lead to some kind of like cutting off there okay <laughs> you're dealing with i don't mean to laugh i don't know what's wrong with me if you're dealing with a libra why someone here is blocking the other person you could be blocking them because they are flying by the seat of their pants and it's becoming annoying or someone's up in their head all right, last one, last one. This Taurus, yeah, there's a decision between you and a Taurus. Someone's up in their head. There's love there, but are you gonna accept it or are you not, okay? I love you so very much. Check your previous and future reads. There's always different or more information. It could resonate for you now, six months from now, a year from now. Trust me, I've seen it and I believe it. I know it, okay? I know it. Um, Check your neighbors, your coworkers. You know that peeping Tom down the road? I'm just kidding, he's not peeping, I hope check his placements or your lover's placements whatever it is it's interesting and i hope to see you next time kisses i love you thank you so much bye